Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining back again. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how do you uh, pull an image from a repo within OCIR uh, for deploying an application within a Kubernetes cluster. So step one would be to create an authentication token. So if you already have an authentication token, uh, step two would be to create a Docker registry secret within Kubernetes cluster. So use a regular command of kubectl create secret. Uh, and then provide your details, credential details. Once you have done so, uh, next is to, within that YAML config of your pod or a deployment, uh, use the image location of your repo within OCIR, and then also use uh, the secret so that the Kubernetes cluster can use that secret and access your registry or repo within OCIR and pull the image from there. So first of all, let's take a quick look of uh, our cluster with its up. So our Kubernetes cluster is up. Now I'll go ahead and create a secret. So I'm using a secret command and uh, providing my secret name as OCIR secret. Then the server address is phoenix.ocir.io, providing the username and the authentication token and then an email ID associated with this secret. Once it's created, I have already uh, created a YAML config for a basic Nginx application to run on Kubernetes cluster. And here is the details of that uh, YAML config. Now in here, you can see two, two main points. One is the image location, which is phoenix.ocir.io uh, with the tenancy name and the image location with the uh, with the tag of that image and the, and the image pull secret has the name of my secrets that the Kubernetes cluster has to use. If I go back to my console, I can see that it's the same image. This is the image that I'm trying to pull and I can get the complete image path name from here. Now let's go back and use this image in my deployment. So I'll just do I dash F. So the pod has been created. If I do uh, get pods, I can see that the image pod that I just, the pod that I just created is already up. It is with the nginx.ocir name and just up like nine seconds ago. I can just do a describe pods and to just get some more details over here I can see that uh, in the in in messages uh, it first assigned or scheduled the pod on a particular node within the Kubernetes cluster and on that node since the docker image was not present the Kubernetes client accessed the uh, docker image from the location that I provided the server which was the Phoenix region and it pulled the image using the OCIS secret that we provided and then build the container based upon the image that we uh, that, that that was available in the in the registry service in our repo in our uh, Phoenix region. So that's all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll take a look at the image retention policies within the OCIR registry service. Thank you for joining.